Hey, I'm Jacob Soboroff. Welcome to our series, Investigate Fortitude, where we dive deeper into the science behind the show, Fortitude on Pivot. I'm joined again by my friends at Eco Health Alliance. Tonight, let's talk about what happened this season. Guys, thank you again for joining me. Let's uh, kick things off with a clip. In this one, Natalie explains to Marcus uh, what the life cycle is of the parasitic wasp. Scary thing. Take a look. These, they are the reason for all this. The Echnomonid eye. Parasitical wasp larvae. Frozen inside the mammoth, 30,000 years. Permafrost thaws, frozen wasp thaws. Wasp injects eggs into human bloodstream. This is what happened to Shirley? Yes, the eggs develop inside the host. The host is compelled to find a victim. Hacks open the thoracic cavity, vomits. Larvae develop inside secondary host. Wasps erupt from Dr. Allardyce and attack. All right, so. Natalie sums up this murder mystery. We have all been waiting to figure out what the hell is going on. It turns out that the killers were all themselves victims of a prehistoric parasite. So still today, this sounds crazy, but this really is a truly relevant conversation around how diseases are transferred from animal hosts to human hosts. And core to your mission at EHA is protecting the global health um, pre by preventing uh, the outbreak of emerging diseases. So I understand the most frequently, these most frequently come from animals, is that right? Over 60% of new diseases originate in animals. So this is a pretty common thing. It seems bizarre, but just think about a disease we all know about, HIV, AIDS. Where did that come from? Chimpanzees. So we're walking around in the US worried and scared about a disease that originated in chimpanzees in Africa. SARS came from bats because people eat bats as part of bushmeat. And that originated in China and spread globally. This is not unusual. It's something we've got to take seriously as a global threat to health. And that's what we do at EcoHealth Alliance. It's really important when you have an emerging infectious disease, a new disease that people aren't familiar with, to understand where it comes from, where its origins are. Uh, you know, when there's an outbreak, it's important to stop people getting infected. But beyond that, you want to know where it comes from so you can stop future outbreaks. What we do is we look into the ecology of these diseases. So many of them originate in wild animal populations, and then they spill over into livestock or people. So we look at the circumstances, the conditions that may have led to that spillover, and we work to identify the original natural wildlife host. You usually a, a wildlife species. And most often, as we've been talking about, it sounds like actually we're the cause of the spillover though, right? The humans are the cause of the spillovers. Is that fair to say? Absolutely. I mean, our research has shown, uh, you know, throughout the world and over time, these diseases are increasing because we are doing more and more things to the planet that affect the environment, that affect our interaction with wildlife species, uh, that are causing diseases to spill over and to jump into the human population. Ten years ago was the big SARS outbreak in humans, but it's still an issue out there. There are still bats in their natural world, bats that are going into markets that are being eaten in China, and so it's still an issue out there. It's still something we're really working on. And from my point of view, the, the most important thing we're doing is, what is the next big one, the unknown virus, the virus X that we just don't know about yet that's going to emerge? So what we've been doing is trying to do some predictive mapping of where that would emerge, where is it likely to come from, what's likely to cause it, which wildlife species are likely to carry it? We've found out there's probably over 300,000 unknown viruses out there on the planet in wildlife, some of which could be the next HIV, the next SARS, the next Ebola. The truth of the matter is, while humans are the cause of so many of these emerging diseases, a lot of the activities that trigger them are not going to stop. Population growth, urbanization, agricultural expansion, we're going to need protein so farming is going to increase. But we need to increase our awareness, our recognition that these things can cause uh, infectious diseases to, to emerge and can impact our health. So we got to change the way we do that with things in mind. And so for everybody out there that's been watching Fortitude, um, and they've seen this disease that has come and terrified and destroyed in large part this community. What's the takeaway message? These are real threats. It, it seems fantastic, but nature is always more bizarre than fiction. Educate yourselves, educate your friends, talk about the issues that are driving these things, climate change, deforestation, wildlife trade, you know, over, over capacity on the planet. We, we're just doing too much out there. Get involved in organizations that are trying to do something to stop that.
Thank you so much, guys. And you can join the conversation on Twitter about tonight's episode using hashtag Fortitude. And to learn more and to take part in the solutions around all of these issues, go to investigatefortitude.com where we are posting actions, more videos, and articles about these topics. Big thanks to everybody again at the Eco Health Alliance. Thanks, everyone. Good night.